Hey guys, Mr. Reepik here, back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video, and today I have the first episode in a brand new Redstone Alternative lesson series I'm going to be starting up. For all of you guys that don't know what Redstone Alternatives are, and you really want to start making some of your own creations for yourself. So, based on some comments I've received in the past, there's lots of you guys that don't know what's going on in some of my Redstone Alternative videos, so this series is just for you guys to teach you all that I know about redstone alternatives and to once again get you guys making some of your own creations so uh, i really want to inspire the community to start learning and getting into redstone alternatives because there's not a lot of you guys that actually know how to work them so what i'm going to be doing is uploading an episode for every single redstone alternative block there is and going over the properties of it and how it can relate and work with other blocks so that uh, you can put together a nice smooth and efficient contraption until we're actually uh, starting to get redstone in pocket edition which sadly it's not here yet so hopefully in the next like half a year we'll actually get it but redstone alternatives are the big deal at the time so what i'm going to be doing is probably uploading about one to two of these every week but if you guys want to see more of that or strictly one episode per week let me know down in the comment section below and also if you're going to support the series and you're going to want to see more in the future please leave a like on this video so i can get a count of how many of you guys are actually going to like it and kind of the demand for it and how much i should actually make of these per week so today we're going to be covering sand and gravel at some point in the future, or my, in my next episode, I'll be covering signs, and I'll be moving on into cactuses and more advanced things like torches and lava and water and how those work with each other, and probably eventually mine carts. So this will probably be uh, about 8 to 12 episodes long in total once we're completed with the series. So that's going to be great, and I'm really excited to get started, so let's go ahead and do so. What I've got here is I've got a couple things. You know, I didn't do too much preparation here today, but... With sand and gravel, they're really simple blocks to understand, and you got to know them before you actually start making redstone alternatives with other things like signs and cactuses. So, they have gravity-like properties, so this allows you to move on with the chain, it allows them to fall on, or fall down to the ground and move on uh, with like a signal or something like that. So, as you can see, if I place it on an unstable block where there's no block holding it up, it will simply fall to the ground. This is probably st stuff you guys already heard before you've seen it and you've experienced it but I just want to cover every single thing so you guys can really understand so if there's a stable block obviously it's not gonna move um, so that's basically the properties of it there's no other blocks like this in the game so sand and gravel are really important in redstone alternatives now you may have seen something like this setup in a like an adventure map before basically what it is is it's like a chamber where you place sand or gravel in the back of it and you may not have actually seen what it does i've left this one open because in most redstone alternative maps they'll have things like this will be covered up and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes so that's what i've done here is left it open so when you place a sand back here what it's actually going to do is because of its gravity like properties it's going to fall down next to this cactus and that's the reason everybody uses sand is because it allows them to actually hide this contraption here. Like they'll close this off here except for this back block. So they'll leave like a nice area for the sand to actually fall down and work its magic behind the scenes. But with this, we have got uh, some nice side things here, whatever. This is the chamber. So when you place your sand block back here, it'll fall down and break this cactus. And once again, I will be doing cactus or a cactus video and a signed video here in the future. Um, once again, let me know how often you guys want to see these videos. But anyway, this will break this cactus and kind of loop or break all these signs that are looped around here to this gravel block. And this is a super simple task to be completed. Uh, there's many, there's like a lot of opportunities, or not opportunities, what the heck am I saying? Uh, there's lots of ways you can set this up and make it do different things. So this is like really basic, and as you can see, it breaks the sign chain and makes this gravel piece fall. I didn't actually catch that, but it's really simple to understand. And I'm trying to take this series as slow as possible so all of you guys that really have no idea what it is can all, like all of you guys can learn it. So... Uh, next series, we're going to be covering signs and how they can be used with the sand and gravel and how they can, they're, they're pretty much the most important redstone alternative aspect, or they're basically the most important block to redstone alternative. So stay tuned for that. Do all the things, like leave a like to let me know what you guys, or how many of you guys are actually going to want to see the series in the future, and a comment with some suggestions, how often you guys want to see this, stuff like that. So um, also really quickly here. With sand and gravel, you guys might be 
just, well, what's the point of having two blocks when you could just use sand all the time, or only gravel all the time, because I do have that problem where I'll just use sand instead of gravel, um, but there's actually a good, there's a good reason why there's two of them, and if you guys have not seen my holiday or my Christmas redstone special, I would really recommend checking that out, I spent lots of time over there, and you can see an example of why I use both of these, and it's because just in case you wanted to do something like my Christmas special, and you wanted to replace the textures of these, um, you don't just get you don't just have one block to replace the texture, you have two of them that are basically the same block with different textures. Like sand and gravel are exactly the same thing. They do the exact same thing, except they look different. And when you can customize your own texture pack, you can change them to, let's say I can make this gravel look like dirt, or this sand look like a piece of wood, or something like that. You can really customize them and make them separate, so you actually have two blocks to work with there. So, that is basically all there is to know about redstone, uh, not redstone, there's all there is to know about sand and gravel. I am so off on my words today. It's just, I've been gone at the lake for a while, so things are just now hitting me again. So, leave a like and a comment and a subscription to my channel if you guys want to see more of this in the future. And that is all. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.